A figure skater from the USA wants to take a swing at the most difficult free program in the history of sports. It is customary to sing a song to the madness of the brave. More recently, we saw Ilya Malinin land a quad axle and right out of it without falling, but it's time for new achievements. In the podcast of the American figure skater Paulina Edmonds, Believe in Figure Skating, Malinin admitted that he would try, for the sake of interest, an arrangement with seven quadruple jumps, one of which would be a quadruple axle. Cascades of fours he jumps for fun, but he seems to be serious about this thing. Cascades from the quad take a lot of energy, it's difficult from the point of view of mentality, it affects the whole program. For example, if I jump a cascade of two quadruple sheepskin coats, I will not be able to repeat another quad. It sucks if you're going to make a program out of fours. And Axel. Now I plan to insert him into the program, like all the other quads. I will try the arrangement with seven fours, Ilya said. Is the program that Malinin wants to try possible in principle? How much will it cost? And can any of the Russian figure skaters take a swing at such an adventure? Is a quad axle required for such a program? Yes, taking into account the current rules, when only one of the quad jumps can be repeated in an arbitrary program, for a seven step it is necessary to perform a quad axle. Under the old rules, before the 2018-2019 season, it was possible to repeat two quadruple jumps, for example, jump two Lutz and two sheepskin coats, but do not repeat the triple ones, and then the execution of the quadruple axle would not be needed. According to the old rules, it would be possible to drive the seven quad with a triple axle and a cascade of two fours, Malinin also tried these in training, including with Ritberger. Another option is a cascade of a triple axle and a quadruple sheepskin coat. But alas, with the current set of rules, Malinin will not be able to make a cherished program, and in principle it is unprofitable to jump a cascade of quads. Mark Kondratyuk also spoke about this after winning the individual jumping tournament of the Channel 1 Cup. Then he coped with the cascade of quadruple Salkow Euler quadruple Salkow. Globally, this makes no sense. This immediately removes the cascade of three jumps, as well as a pair of fours, which cannot be repeated later, the figure skater said. How to make a program of seven quads and how much will it cost? The order of execution of jumps, of course, can be any, but here we decided to arrange jumps depending on their cost. The most expensive and difficult at the beginning, the easiest at the end, if, of course, we can talk about quads. Let's assume that this program exists in a vacuum and there are no errors about the loss of levels. In this case, the base cost will be more than 108 points. The base cost of Nathan Chen's perfect five square at the 2021 World Cup in Stockholm was 100.1 points. Why is Semikbadko a literally impossible undertaking? The men's singles record at the moment is six quadruple jumps in the free program, it belongs to Olympic champion Nathan Chen. It is worth noting that this is a record with a small asterisk. Nathan's six square at the OI 2018 was not completely clean. He landed one of the flips with a touch of ice with his hand. At the 2018 World Cup, Chen landed six quads again, but the departure from Salkov turned out to be a step out. At the beginning of the Beijing Olympic cycle, a rule was introduced according to which only one quad can be repeated, not two. This rule was the basis for Nathan's sixth quarter in the 2017-2018 season. He repeated the flip in the first half and the sheepskin coat in the second, and also added Lutz and Salkow to them. It was possible to do without the quadruple Ritberger, whom Chen was simply afraid of. Nathan tried to build a six square and according to the new rules, with Ritberger, but he never rolled it out. The attempt happened at Skate America in the 2021-2022 season, and then Chen allowed two butterflies, on Lutz and on Salkow. Later in the season, he did not return to such a set, it was more important to get to the Olympics healthy and win it. It is difficult to imagine what the physical form should be in order to roll out a program with seven fours. And even if it is important, not just to land these jumps at random, but cleanly, and at the same time, not to lose many levels on non-jumping elements. 
If we turn back to Nathan's experiments with six quads, we can recall that then he often lost levels on the tracker rotations. A quadruple jump often requires a long approach and a set of a certain speed, in connection with which transitions and bundles are lost, programs lose part of the choreography, lose their face. Why are Alexandra Trusova's arbitrary programs often criticized? Because due to the large number of fours in the productions, there are such sagging places in which Sasha simply accelerates to perform the jump. But without this acceleration, it is impossible to gain speed for a good performance of the quadruple. In Malinin's case, the program as such will not be built, the seven square will even less resemble some kind of solid canvas than sets with five and six quads. Will there be any energy left after so many difficult jumps on the choreographic track and for the final spins? What do our guys have there? It's definitely a long way to seven quads Russian singles players have not rolled out more than four fours in one program yet. Maker Ignatov managed to do this at international starts, a set of Ritberger Salkow two sheepskin coats one triple axle, and Mark Kondratyuk also managed to do it at domestic starts. During the Channel 1 Cup, the skater coped with a set of a quadruple Lutz, a sheepskin coat and two Salkows, also landing two triple axles. Evgeny Semenenko is also aiming for four quads in the new season. According to Ilya Averbik, who worked on his new arbitrary, the calculation goes for at least four quads, one of which is the senior, Ritberger. A little more complicated is the possible set of Pyotr Gumenik in Saransk at the Channel 1 Cup. He tried a four-square with Lutz, Ritberger and two Salkows, the rental turned out to be with one butterfly. Potentially, in the future, figure skaters with a high quality and high triple axle, from which you can grow a quad, as well as those who have no problems with the ribs on jumps, can swing at the seven quad in order to collect all the other quads in the program. In the meantime, only in the USA are trying to do this, Malinin's tone in the podcast was quite serious. But first you need to at least land a quad axle in competitive mode, and then you can swing at something more serious. And then you can.